All right, we're back. There's just a few lessons left to finish the uh, pages in the third section of page 1123, which is the third pace in Algebra 2. So let's talk about um, this concept of the th there are three ways of classifying um, graphing two lines <clears throat> on the same on the same uh, yeah same axes. Up to this point, when you've graphed lines, they have crossed each other. Okay, so one line, another line. One probably has a negative slope, the other has a positive slope, and they cross at some point. That is the normal case, all right? And up to this point, I think they've all worked out to be an X and a Y value. We might do the, um, what's it called, substitution <clears throat> or the elimination method. Consistent. Now, what if we end up with two lines and they don't intersect? We would say they are parallel, okay, if they have the same slope and they had crossed the y-axis, so we'll call this the y-axis, this is the x-axis, so they cross at two different points on the y-axis, but they have the same slope, then we say they are inconsistent, okay? We just have to memorize this. So consistent is when they cross and they form one point. There's an x, y value that represents it. Inconsistent, the slopes are the same. Remember, slope is the m value. Slope is the same. Different y intercepts. Now, dependent, <clears throat> I always picture that. I tell my students that it's like, you graph one line and then the other line is laying right on top of it, okay? So you have two lines, boom, one laying on top of the other one. So they have the same slope and same y-intercept. <clears throat> so you can take any line and if you rework it into this form, y equals mx plus b, you can, I mean, you could graph it, but you can also inspect it and first of all see, do they have different slopes? If the slopes are different, then right away we know that they are inconsistent. They are going to cross at some point. If you turn both of them into this form and the slopes are the same, okay, then you can plug in um, zero for x, and then you can solve to see, well, where does it cross on the y-axis? And those, if you get two different values for y, boom, then you know that it's inconsistent. They had the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts. If you end up in the case where they have the same slope and you get the same y-intercept, then we just label it as dependent. So really, that's all there is to this lesson. We're just analyzing two sets of equations or a set of two equations, I should say, and determining which of these three categories that would fit into. All right, it's not too bad. Hopefully, they'll do well in that lesson.